drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go! It's the autonomous period in match number nine here at Kettering. I see one uh, note over in over on the blue side. Let's see what red can do. Another shot over on the Red Alliance. Strike zone lines up, they don't shoot. And we move into the teleoperated period. Reds up 21 to a Baloo 16. Rush, team 27, puts a note into the amplifier, followed quickly by the bees. Meanwhile, Vassar Voltage looks like they're going to be playing some defense. Trying to slow down those blue robots from getting their game pieces. Red is amplified. Blue is amplified. The count points count more. And I saw a bunch of red notes flying into that speaker as well as some blue ones. We got a minute and 30 seconds left. Already a high score of 47 red. Blue's got 38. The captain of the Blue Alliance, Dreadnoughts, moving over to their human loading station to get another note. Meanwhile, 7491, the cyber soldiers trying to get some driveline issues straightened out. Let's see if they're going to try to block some of those red robots. Red is amplified again. Let's see how many shots they can make for the extra points. B shoots, they miss. Another note goes way over the crowd. And we've got about 40 seconds left in this one. Red starting to pull ahead. Strike sounds over at their amplifier. They're loading it up some more. Let's see if Blue can amplify this match. Meanwhile, Dreadnought's feeding strike zones. Trying if they can get those scores up. Red's amplified again. <laughs> And that amplification is over. Blue is now amplified. They shot two notes. Make it three and one goes in. We've got five seconds left in this one. Two blue robots on the stage. We've got two red robots up on the stage. One hanging. And we'll see. It's going to be a win for the Red Alliance. A very, very close match. Red wins by two. 79 to 77. We'd like to throw out a big thank you.